Good morning. How you guys doing? You guys ever thought about mosquitoes and how they bite some people and some people they leave alone? Something to think about, ain't it? Well, I'm one Bubba Mike one, and yeah, let's get started. You are getting ready to watch One Bubba Mike One on YouTube TV. Yeah, come on, let's get started. Mosquitoes, nasty little blood sucking parasites from hell. That's all they are. Are you guys some of the very unlucky ones that do get bit? My wife's one. Do you know 22% of the world's population, if I got this right, are the very lucky ones like myself that don't really get bit. Mm -mm. I could be sitting out here with next to my wife. She be, you know, the excuse me, having lunch and supper on her. Leave me the hell alone. Interesting, ain't it? But why is that that mosquitoes bite some and leave others alone? You ever wonder that? Well, if you go by what certain scientists say, if you go by what certain scientists say, it could be the color of their clothing. It could be uh, anywhere from you know wearing black to wearing white outside. Some scientists say if you wear black, you're attracted more to you know getting bit. I heard it was always white, but then again, what do I know, right? Could it be your blood type? Again, scientists say people with O negative for no positive blood are the ones getting bit the most. That's funny, I have O negative. Hey, leave me the hell alone. Hmm, interesting, ain't it? They say the Asian tiger mosquito are the ones that carry the West Nile virus. And they usually go after the ones with O blood type. Once again, folks, I have O. They don't bother me. But yet, my wife gets nailed. Let me tell you how bad she gets nailed. The other day, we had one of them salespeople come up to our door. You know the type. Knock, knock, knock. Hi, would you like to sponsor this and buy that? Da, 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 da. Ooh, they make me angry, but that's another story. Well, I'm out there talking to them, so I close the door so no bugs get in the house. There's about mm, maybe a crack right there. Now, well, my wife, being the woman that she is, she was being nosy, standing on the other side of the door, basically acting like she's looking at the calendar, but she's just listening on my conversation. But standing there, and the mosquitoes, now the guy that's trying to sell things, which he was getting bit, he should have got bit, was just getting ate up alive. He said, mm, 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 mm. Me? It went right around me. Didn't touch me. Went right inside and nailed my wife. This took about five minutes. While I got inside, my wife had about nine bites. Through a crack of the door like that. Went right around me. They ate him alive, went around me and ate my wife, my, my wife alive too. Interesting, ain't it? Now, here's something else. Scientists also say if you're sitting next to somebody that's the lucky 22% that doesn't get bit like me, and you are the one that does get bit a lot, more than likely you're gonna get bit even more because they're gonna to go to you right off the bat. But that's what scientists say. Think about that for a minute. Scientists also said people with O blood doesn't get bit or gets bit all the time. <laughs> so we know they're wrong on that, huh? <laughs> but then again, could that be true? Angie gets bit, gets ate up. That part might be true then. I don't know. Just go with it. But why is it that some people get bit and some don't, though? Could it be the soap they use? Search me. Could it be a uh, perfume that ladies might wear? Search me. Could it be the sweat? Once again, I have no clue. But it is interesting why mosquitoes go after certain people and leave others alone. You guys got any ideas? Now, I'm asking you folks. Um, do you get bit? Uh, are you one of the lucky few like me that don't get bit? 
But anyway, guys, nobody really knows why mosquitoes bite some and bite others. Nobody really knows why the mosquitoes are attracted to people, period. But I can tell you what does help keep rid of them. If you got any standing water around your house, like maybe some water on a trash can lid, a little puddle maybe, you know, try to dry that up. You know, uh, I think it's a larva, I think is what their nest is. If I said that wrong, just go with it. But yeah, pretty much, you know, little things you could do. Uh, try not to go out too much in the evening times. That's when the mosquitoes are more aggressive or they're out more, I don't know. But anyway, we're headed to uh, the bank, post office, have lunch, and store. Maybe not exactly in that order. So, yeah! Well, sitting down here at Flavors, getting our food. We're gonna probably head to the park and eat it. We don't have a whole bunch of time. We had a mess around with foam tag this morning. What a freaking nightmare. That's all I gotta say to that. I take care of business. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I am hungry. You guys hungry? Let's have some lunch. One, two? All right, we'll do so. All right, guys, I would have showed you the lunch today, but you guys have seen us have lunch a thousand times. Well, not that many, just, you know, just go with it. Well, lunch was good. I had a hamburger and my wife had something, something. But anyway, we're gonna probably take her to the store. Gotta get some things for supper tonight and I head her on home and, well, we're at the store right now. I figured tomorrow we'll get some more video. Tomorrow's the day. I'm going to try to get that house. Not sure um, how much the house I can get, guys. I'm going to do my best. I figure we're going to head over to a graveyard tomorrow, too. Um, the graveyard in Greendale is very spectacular. I'm going to get some video of that and whatever else. And then I'm going to flop my memory cards out, and I'm going to get some video of um, a town I kind of grew up in a little bit. Got a whole brand new thing for that, too. So, yeah! Okay, you know how I'm always saying I'm going to take my picnic table and drop it off the deck? Well, guess what? I'm going to do it this Thursday. The reason I'm waiting for that is I'm going to mow grass Wednesday, what little bits to mow, and Thursday be a better day. Just go with it. So, destruction of that particular picnic table or that one, uh, go figure. The destruction, <laughs> I got to learn to speak, guys. The destruction of this picnic table is set for Thursday yeah the death penalty but we're not gonna be able to throw it off this particular part of the deck which is down to here my wife for some reason says no she don't like that idea so she wants us to throw it off that side of the deck and which isn't too far down from you know it's about the same distance be a lot easier for me to set up camera angles so I'm gonna have two of them two cameras getting it one from the bottom maybe one from top sound good to you <laughs> but anyway Thursday she's going bye-bye I hope it's spectacular now am I gonna put it in Thursday's vlog or am I just gonna make a separate video of this I don't know yet we just have to wait and see just go with it some of my friends in pal talk asked me was like Mike we watch your videos all the time. Think maybe you give us a shout out once? Please? Well, you know what? Never really thought of it. And I, they're like, well, it'd be really cool to hear our name. And I'm like, I'm not really nothing big in YouTube. I mean, I give you a shout out, but I don't see where you're getting excited. But you know, now that I thought of it, when Adam, the vlogging life, and when Hunter Valentine gave me a shout out for like a million bucks. So why not, right? There's one of the mosquitoes' foods. Mosquitoes love her. Love, 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 love her. Yeah, I'm going to Ash's after I take mom to work. Alright. We're going swimming. Alright, say hi to the tubes. What's up? 
Tell them to watch one Bubba Mike one. Well, they're already watching you, aren't they? <laughs> when like, are you going to make videos? They want to know. Um, as soon as huh, you huh, upload huh. them. So you ain't someone, made no videos. I have some on your laptop. No, you so. have not. Yes, I do. Don't you like this camera just following you? Yeah, you also got right in the sun there. I'm good. But All right, guys. But anyway, I said you're done talking. I don't think so. Hi. Anyways, I was saying. The sun's right there. Damn. <laughs> Somebody left their horn or arm on or something. <laughs> but anyway, guys, like I was saying, I'm going to give two shout outs to two non YouTubers. That means they don't you do YouTube videos and they're just strictly friends of mine that watch me. The first one is my friend Brian. In other words, known as Louisiana Catfish and Pal Talk. Shout out to you, my brother. My second one is Tim and his, Angie, or his wife Angie. Big shout out to you too. And maybe next week I give another shout out to somebody. But yeah, Louisiana Catfish and PC Doc, which would be Tim and his wife Angie. I remember Catfish. You do? Yeah, he's the one whose name I kept messing up. She would be correct. All right, guys. I'm going to probably go ahead and close the video on out now. Uh, tomorrow, i got a lot of video, lots of video to get. And once again, you won't see my deck. Yeah. Anytime I get a chance to get a video outside the house, I'm jumping on it. But right now, i got to do some things. Got well, got to do the work thing, so... Uh, with that being said, I will catch you when the camera rolls next. I am one Bubba Mike one, which you know that, and yeah, I like saying that, don't I? Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs>